Welcome to Building Off the Grid with Todd Broussard, the story of how you get from here to here, and how you do it here. The beginning. A couple of years went by, and then I started thinking more and more about a uh, little cabin in the woods, and uh, one thing led to another, and uh, we built the house. First step was really, we had to get electricity. We lived off the grid for quite a while. We had to get the water put in. Luckily, the water was at the street. The electrical was at the street. Once the land was purchased and was cleared, which took me quite a while to clear the trees, I probably cut down two, three hundred trees. It was nothing but virgin land, so it took a while. The foundation started with that after the septic was in. Basically, just put some blocks out, squared it up, and once the blocks were up, we got a little laser level, and the uh, laser leveled how high the house would be. One mistake I think I made was instead of putting it on a pier and beam, I wish I would have just put it on a block basement. It means I had a slope towards the back, I could have had a nice walkout basement. Um, we just started out with cement and we dug down the pads as far as I could dig down by hand. They were anywhere from 8 to 18 inches poured holes basically full of cement, rebar sticking out of them. And then on top of that, we put cinder blocks and we core filled them, we tied them into the rebar. Septic was like $3,000, electric was like $1,200, and the water was $1,400. Once the septic was in, we had a pretty well cleared site for the house. I decided on a floor print of 24 by 40. So it's a really easy footprint to build with. Tune in to the next episode in this series as we follow Todd's adventure, Building Off the Grid.